Earlier this year, the new Republican governor of the great state of Maine ordered that a mural depicting the state's labor history be removed from the lobby of Maine's Labor Department building. No artwork about the labor movement allowed under a Republican governor, even if it is the Labor Department. But then some anonymous protesters got together and decided to project an image of the mural back onto the side of the building that contains the Labor Department. They put the mural back up. Watch this. How good, sir? What are you doing? <laughs> Put the mural back up. Put the mural back up. I hope not. Uh oh. Because if you do, we'll have APD right up here. They're putting the mural back up. This is sort of a thing now. Uh, you may also remember that amid all the protests against Republican Governor Scott Walker's union stripping law uh, in Wisconsin, uh, we got this photo from protesters in Wisconsin who told us that in addition to this projection, they had also projected a 40-foot dollar sign onto the side of the Wisconsin State House. Uh, then there was the anti Koch brothers protest outside Lincoln Center here in New York, where a theater has been named after David Koch. The protesters' goal there was to rebrand the Koch brothers. An effort that included a whole multimedia program projected onto the side of the building during the protest. And over these last couple of months, protesters have been making use of projectors uh, in lower Manhattan as part of the Occupy movement. But the projection as protest move, I don't think has ever really been done like it was done last night. Um, and he, it's in part because this was technically an amazing thing to have been carried off. All right, here, just for your visualization sake, here's Manhattan, right? This is the Hudson River on the left side there, and then over there on the other side, the east, that's the East River. Now, here is the Brooklyn Bridge, um, the same place where there were 700 arrests made when Occupy Wall Street protesters marched on the Brooklyn Bridge early last month. Uh, but that march and those arrests, that all happened on a, on a weekend during the day. The new Occupy Wall Street action at the Brooklyn Bridge was planned to be on a weeknight this week, um, during rush hour, after the time change, so it was going to be in the dark. And, of course, they'd announced it in advance, so everybody knew a ton of people were going to be protesting on the Brooklyn Bridge last, last night. And, and, and right here, going over the Brooklyn Bridge, there is a perfect sight line, not only for the protesters, but for everybody covering the protesters, for this whole scene that everybody was gearing up for on the Brooklyn Bridge last night. Right in the sight line of that bridge is what everybody in New York refers to as the Verizon Building. Now, it's not actually um, Verizon's headquarters. As the folks at the Village Voice pointed out today, Verizon just has a couple of floors there, and their name on the top of the building is essentially just a giant ad for that company. But more importantly, for the protesters' purposes last night, this is what it looks like, right? It's a big, flat building that has a big, flat surface on it facing the river. And it's a big, flat surface that doesn't have a lot of windows or sharp planes or anything else that might obscure its divinely inspired purpose as the best possible place in the world to show off this year's non-marring, non-intrusive, but oddly effective and evocative visual art slash protest technique. The projection. And you need three things to be able to pull this off. You need a really, really, really bright projector. You need a place to project from. And you need chutzpah to even try to do this. Um, the guy who pulled this off um, is going to be joining us in just a second. We were able to track him down thanks to the geniuses at uh, boingboing.net. Um, but th they were able to pull this off. And, and this is what it looked like. This is just one of a whole series of images. Uh, see that? projected onto the side of the Verizon building last night. It was a whole program of projected images, almost like a visual speech. Uh, here's uh, part of the message. Do you have this? Mic check. Mic check. Look around. You are a part of a global uprising. We are a cry from the heart of the world, it goes on. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. Happy birthday, Occupy movement, 99%. Here's what it looked like on the ground uh, from the Brooklyn Bridge where the Occupy Wall Street protesters were marching. They are psyched. Joining us now is Mark Reed, who organized the projections on the Verizon building last night. Uh, Mr. Reed, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When you look at that... Um, footage of it. Obviously, you saw it live when it was happening, but when you see it as sort of, um, I guess, a document of what happened in New York, how does it feel? Uh, it's a little surreal. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it, it was, we knew, I knew it would be a really powerful projection, and I 
hope that it would have that effect on the crowd. And uh, we were able to hear the crowd, actually, from the window where we were projecting. And I didn't expect that at all. I, I mean, we could hear them, you know, chanting along to what we were projecting in this kind of interactive dance that we were doing. It was really beautiful. How long ago did you have this idea? How much planning time did this take? Well, um, about three weeks. Okay. Um, and it wasn't technically my idea. Um, we, were, we were having an action coordination meeting. Um, to discuss the 17th, which had been called as a day of action for labor, 17 bridges and 17 cities to call attention to the crumbling infrastructure and the people that are out of work. And like we have these people that are out of work, we have this crumbling infrastructure, let's make, um, let's make some jobs and make some bridges better. So that was the idea. And then Occupy happened, and it became like an, a, a birthday party. It's exactly on the two-month anniversary of, of the birth of the Occupy movement. And we wanted to do something a little more spectacular. And we were the first idea that we were talking about were these lights that we handed out to the crowd, 10,000 LED lights to go around to create a kind of river of light around the city hall and then up onto the pedestrian walkway of the Brooklyn Bridge. And then we were kind of done with that discussion, and there's the guy Hero is actually the name he goes by is Hero. <laughs> and he, um, he's been involved from, from the beginning with Occupy. And, and he was like, man, I didn't get, the, I didn't get a chance to, to give my idea. And I was, sta- I was sitting next to him, so I said, well, what's your idea? He said, we need a bat signal. <laughs> and we need a like, bat signal with 99%. And I, I thought about it for about a half a second and was... And it, I knew that I could pull it off. I'd done guerrilla projections before and know people that have and figured I could probably do it and, and just said, we're doing it. Now. How did you, how did you um, figure out where you should be projecting from and then how did you find a place? Um, well, I mean, there's this ma- ma- you know, gigantic gray monolith you, know, you were talking yeah. about as a perfect projection screen that a lot of us have seen over the years and I've probably had the same idea. And there are these <coughs> city housing, actually. It's, it's you know... The, uh, the irony of it is kind of incredible. In the, in, the, in the shadow of this gray corporate monolith as city housing uh, projects, you know, people working, working class, working poor. You know, it's the same thing these days, working class, working poor. And, and they're like 17-story tall buildings, and they're right up against, you know, the, the one that we were in is 130 feet from the face of that building, literally in, the sh- in its shadow. And, you know, I knew that we needed a secure place, so we... I, I needed an apartment. I needed someone in that building to sort of open their home. And so I, I went into the building and put up signs, you know, c- you know like, um, could you rent us your apartment for a few hours on Thursday, November 17th for $250? And I got a few phone calls, um, most of which didn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay. And then I got a call from Denise Vega, uh, who... I went and visited. Actually, didn't think that she had the window that we needed. I, she talked about her views of the Brooklyn Bridge, and she, I didn't think it was going to be right. Um, but lo and behold, it was there uh, in her bedroom. She had a perfect view of that face, and and you know it was on. And I told her immediately what, what I was doing. I didn't say that in the sign, but you know I said it was an art and film project. But uh, when I met her, I said, "I'm with Occupy Wall Street. Have you heard about us?" And she said, "Of course. You know, guys are awesome. You know, I, I'm, you know she you know knew all all about the movement and." And she was excited about the idea of doing something in her apartment. And, and so we shook hands. And the last thing I'd said to her was, uh, she said to me, was like, let's do this thing. And so oh, nice. that was really exciting. And, she, and so it was 250 bucks, And it was a, probably a long night in there setting up. And Yeah, well, the thing was, um, it was about 20 minutes setting up. But the thing with Denise was, um, I, on, the, on Tuesday, on Tuesday, which is the, the, the day after the eviction, which happened like very early, early Tuesday morning. The Zuccotti Park eviction, Zuccotti Park right? eviction. Uh, I had been trying to reach Denise because I needed to get her her money. I wanted to get like half in advance and half after. And, I, you know, this was coming up on Thursday. So I was, this finance working group from Occupy Wall Street was in disarray. No one was around. I couldn't get her the money. And, and so I, I was playing phone tag with her, and I finally talked to her at 9 o'clock. And uh, the first thing she said to me was, you know, I can't take money for this. You know, this is, oh, for, wow. this is for the people. Um, I can't take any money. Um, um, so. Mark, while I have been talking to you, we have been trying to reach Denise on the phone. Yeah. And I am told that we have Denise on the phone. Denise, are you there on the phone? Yes, hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, and you? I'm great. I've, I'm here um, with Mark, who you did the projection um, project with um, last night. And I'm just wondering if you could tell us why you decided uh, to do this with him, why you decided to let him use the apartment and, and uh, participate in this. It so happens that I was talking to my sister. And because she, that's her apartment, and it so happens that we were together. She was saying, "Oh, you gotta do us. You gotta like do this together. We gotta do this together." So I told her, "I said yes. What you want me to do?" And 
She said, listen, this, uh, they, this the project is about to take place, and give them a call, Mark Reed. Uh, that's what, exactly what I did. I said, oh, this, this sounds like fun. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Let's do this. <laughs> that's when I called Mark Reed, and I, we started talking. And, you know, money was offered, and I refused the money. It's not about the money. I am working, but, you know, we got to be together, work together. How do you feel Stand about one. Yeah, how do you feel about the the overall I, I mean how do you feel about the messages that were projected how do you feel about the overall Occupy Wall Street movement Well it's great I'm I'm so happy it's going on and um I I wish I I, I didn't even know it was going to be this long it, it's crazy but you know I'm just showing my daughters I do have two daughters and um I'm just showing them what you know what the world's about right now we got to stand up for what's right Denise Vega, um, thank you for calling in tonight. We, were, we, had a, we had a hard time tracking you down, and I'm really glad that we found you. Thanks for calling us, and thanks for thank being you. part of this. I Have appreciate a good night. It. Good night, Mark Reed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark Reed, uh, the Occupy Wall Streeter who organized this uh, and who um, must have a really amazing projector. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you for coming in and explaining this, how you did this. This uh, made a big impact on a lot of people. appreciate it. Okay. Thank thanks. You.